Yeah, so the scenery is nice, but other than that, there's no wildlife out here at all. Not a seagull, pigeon, nothing. Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, we're going to be learning image stacking in Chasey's Draw IES. Uh, if you don't know about Chasey's Draw IES, I will put a link in the description. This is the interface. Um, actually, I'm going to show you one thing. Well, now when you open it, it'll actually ask you if you want to use single window mode, which is what this is. Uh, it locks everything in place, so everything's not floating around all over. Um, show you quickly what it looks like without single window mode. So you've got everything floating all over. I did get used to this, but then I started using single window mode and yeah, it's uh, much better in single window mode, I think, anyway. Uh, and you've got your layers panel, you've got your history panel, file browser, um, and then the tooltip pop-up, and you've got all your image information here, so uh, the back uh, the layer there would be 1280 by 720 in 16 by 9 format, 0 0.922 megapixels, 73% uh, uh, RAM is remaining, uh, and, and then, you know, obviously the developer has to throw his thing in there too. Uh, you've got your color panels here. Anyway, uh, th I'm going to go through all this in other tutorials. Uh, we ain't got time right now, because right now it's about image stacking, yo. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so I just want to actually get rid of these tool tips. So there we go. Okay, so w when you initially open Chasey's Draw, uh, this is what you get presented with. And uh, in here, you see here, there is a stack photos option. Uh, I'm not going to do it this way. I actually have to let the developer know that there is a bug. Um, in the final renderings um, or the final options for rendering um, the issue is everything becomes blank and you can't see what's actually on the screen uh, it's just a blank window unfortunately uh, but these are all the various options when it comes to the image stacking uh, that Chasey's Draw can do uh, there's quite a number of them uh, merge to H HDR and they, they're all self-explanatory uh, moving objects will identify and remove or combine objects that are not stationary. You can take a 16 megapixel image, turn it into a 50 megapixel image. Um, I mean, th th there's just th there's a lot of various options here. Uh, anyway, all right, so let's exit all that because we're not going to use any of that. Uh, I'm going to do this a different way. So go to File, uh, Open Multiple because we want to use multiple images. Um, now we need to find an image to use. So I already know where one, I already know where I want to go. Do, do, do. Okay, so the front brick. Do, 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 do. So, yes, and these are actual dimensions of uh, what I turned a 16 megapixel image to. Uh, yeah, 14,784 by 9,000. 792 it's uh, uh 144 megapixels <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous um anyway okay so i'm going to open all 20 of these now to select multiple images um that are all in sequence so i'm going to be selecting from here to here C click once hold down shift and then click again or you can use well, you can't use that. Oh, that's... I thought you could use the space bar. Well, maybe. Nope. Okay, so just uh, shift and left click. Just how you selected the first one. And then you hit open. And it's going to launch all the layers one after another, after another, after another. And if you look down here, uh, see so now it's at 48.25 megapixels, 64.34. So as it imports every layer, it's giving you the full amount of megapixels um, that that are actually in 
well that could be in that one photo uh, but the way we're going to be stacking it's still going to be a 16 megapixel image it's just going to be crazy high resolu like not resolution but crazy high sharpness like the amount of detail is going to be off the charts when we're done and it's actually very very simple um very very simple all right so we still have a few more to go do 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 well while that's loading uh let's see what can i show you so this here is uh basically the, the size of a tool that you're using uh, whether it's a brush you change the brush size um yeah, or the width and if you just hover over each one of these options it'll actually give you a tool tip and explain what it does you don't have to click on it just hover the mouse over it um yeah and then this here is uh the transparency for alpha one and two which is very confusing i'm still not even entirely sure exactly what all that means uh, but over here, you can see down here is transparent at the bottom. And you've got your black, which blends into blue. Um, and if you change these, then you, at the bottom here, you'll see that... Uh, okay, still trying to autosave. How many layers have we done? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all there. Okay, so if I move this, then if you watch this panel here, you'll notice that now it's completely transparent bring that down and if I bring this one down it compl there's no transparency whatsoever all right anyway <clears throat> okay so we have all 20 of our layers right 20 49 28 by 32 64 okay so now what you want to do now that they're all in here uh, I believe yeah See, they're all layered side by side, almost like a tile. Okay, so what we want to do now is simply go to Processes. And uh, do we want to align them first? You know what, let, let, let's just go straight to... Uh, actually, yeah, fine, let's align them. Okay, now to align, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in. Scrolling up zooms in, scrolling back zooms out. So... I want to make sure these are completely lined up. So I'm going to find something slightly high in contrast uh, to make sure it actually does get this right. Uh, let's see, so I need to find something sharp. There we go. Okay, that rail, this rail right here looks good. Okay. All right, <coughs> so all you really need to do is just press shift, or actually, no, not shift, sorry, right click. So just find exactly where you want this to line up to, and you right click, and you can actually move it around a bit. It's very, very accurate, actually. Yeah, that should work. And then just click offsets and it'll go through every single one and it'll line it up left and right. There's also a rotation option as well, but we're not going to use that. So yeah, that should be good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you look here, you'll see offsets. It's adjusted it by a little bit. And this one's a slightly different offset. Different offset. different offset so yeah all right and it always starts at layer two for the offsets because obviously the base image is always fine so you just hit okay and let it do its thing okay so now they're lined up and now we want to do let's do image averaging in order to make much higher detail much higher detail so we can add some sharpening I usually do about three 
both 3%. Let's add some contrast. So to add contrast using curves, uh, left is always the darks and right is always white. <laughs> See what I did there? White is, right is white, right is white, yeah. All right, so that should bring out and I don't want to use link channel ranges because I want everything to be independently rendered. Uh, it's going to optimize the dynamic range on its own. And uh, let's hit OK and see what we get. And there we go. OK, so up here is your zoom level. Now, usually what I do is uh, I go to view zoom and I go to physical size which would be the actual size it would be printed uh, okay so this circle right here actually let's go oops, let's go 200 that's 200 percent on that I mean most people usually it's a hundred so okay let, let, let's go with what everyone usually does so 100 right look at how sharp that is right and let's go to the original the single image and let's go and keep it at 100 so it's definitely a huge amount of detail that's been added even in the brick And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty simple. All right. That's it. That's all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be making some more videos soon enough. I've been just really crazy busy lately. But, uh, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.